pants are maroon. Good afternoon. I woke up at 9.45. Just had a meeting for an hour and a half. It's 11.30. Does that, does that math make sense? I promise. Whatever that math does make sense. Had a meeting. Went great. I'm so tired. I didn't get that much sleep last night. But I have another meeting in about 30 minutes. So I'm going to lie down for 20 minutes before that. Great thing about having meetings in my own place. It's like, yeah, yeah, I'll be at the meeting in like a minute. And I just walk downstairs like, Yo, what's up? And I'm gonna go back into bed right now. This is what we're gonna do today. Post-production fingers. After my meeting, I have an hour and a half break. I wish I need to practice for my audition. I have an audition today, which I'm nervous about, but kind of not. It's one scene. And also, I've, I've had this mentality, which is nothing will be the make or break of me. Every audition I go to, I'm like, as long as I learn something new, it's fine. I'm not gonna put the pressure on myself being like, frig, frig, I got it. No, I'm gonna find my way. I'm gonna find my place, try my best. After the audition, I'm gonna go have my license plates, put on my Tesla, because uh, I haven't done that, by the way, and it's no big deal. And then I gotta sign a bunch of things. So very, very productive day. But first, we nap. By the way, a next thing, yes, my stuff is everywhere. Why I wear shoes in the house? Because you know I'm mad like, yo, don't wear shoes in my house. It's because I've still not completely unpacked. I've still not completely settled in. My floor is dirty. So if you don't wear shoes, like your socks will get a little bit mush up. Why you not focus on your bridge and there you go. And that's why I'm allowing people to wear shoes and why I still wear shoes because your feet would be broke up if you did not. Let's nap. That was long, long enough. Let's go to our meeting down the stairs. You know what my favorite thing on the planet is? When people are good at their jobs. I love when people are good at their jobs. You meet with people and you're just like, you hella good at your job. It makes me want to be better at my job. I love that ish. About to eat something and maybe take a pop and then start prepping for my audition. Two meetings down. Let's do the thing. I'm not gonna lie, I was super tired today. I was planning to take another nap right now, but I was like, no, we're not gonna do it. We're just gonna power through. Power through. Hopefully the next clip, I'm not sleeping. Stay tuned. Okay, this mirror is hella I'm gonna clean this door. When the audition says the person looks athletic, I'm like, oh, okay, let me just wear everything Nike I have, trick you into thinking I'll work out. Bam. She them guns? Who's calling me? Mom. Hello? Hello? What's up, dog? What's up, puppy? What's that? Fun fact, one of my best pump-up songs is Jay Sean Down. I freaking love it. It is about 30 minutes from my audition is in Marina Del Rey, which is where I used to stay in my Airbnb before I moved to LA. So we're gonna go a walk down memory lane. People say I talk fast in my vlogs. I'm sorry. All of my friends talk fast from Toronto, but we are 30 minutes away from my audition. Let's go. But LA traffic is like, nah! So my GPS just went off because my audition's at 4.15 and it's like, leave by 3.35 as traffic is heavy. I left at 3.07 and I'm still gonna be late because the traffic is so heavy and I'm just like, this is what stresses me out most about auditions, provided this audition is very far from where I am, but it's like, some days LA traffic is fine and some days it's so heavy and I don't, I haven't figured out like what the science is to get there on time, but going late to auditions stresses me out so much because I feel like I'm already at a disadvantage. Even though like, I feel like most casting agents, like they just have a list of people so they don't really care, it's just people are coming in, but just me mentally, it freaking Fs me up so much, so I'm not in a happy place right now, but I'm trying to stay positive. Ah! That's what positivity sounds like. Right after I did that last clip, somehow I made a turn and my GPS reduced itself by 10 minutes and I made it here on time. The power of positivity. I'm about to go in. Nothing is the make or break of me. It's either going to go wonderfully, okay, or horribly. Either way, I'm still going to be happy about it. <sighs> Let go. Okay, done. I have so much to tell you. First, I'm gonna talk really fast. Deal with it, okay? I ain't talking fast, just you listen and slow. I love how, first of all, when something happens, usually people will, like call their boyfriend or call their friend. Is it bad that like I turn on my vlogging camera because I'm like, I can't wait to tell Team Super? Does that make me lame? I don't think. I think that makes me awesome, but just in case. Okay, so I'm walking to the place that the audition is and I'm like, I recognize this place. In a chapter of my book, right when I moved to LA or maybe slightly before I moved to LA, like it was my second ever audition. And I did this audition and in my book, I write about the audition and I write about how nice the casting agent was and how like I was so proud of myself for overcoming that audition. Same place, same person. So I walked in and I was like, oh my God, walk down memory lane. I walked in the first thing I said to her, I'm like, before we start, can I just ask you, did you do this audition a year ago for a blank movie? And she's like, yeah, I remember you. I was like, I wrote about you in my book. And then we had this whole moment. I, I'm proud of myself. I did the audition. I didn't mess up at all. I didn't mess up any of the lines. And that's a big testament to show you that like people's energy, I mean, sometimes when I fumble auditions, it's because like the energy in the room is very like, already not welcoming. She's so nice and welcoming that you do your best. But I also remember that she speaks very fast, like me. <laughs> and I remember that, so I was like, oh, I definitely remember her. But it was so, I, I did, I'm proud of myself because I did it and it was even more cool because it was the same place I did that audition that I was freaked out about a year ago. And it's just like, yo, I've come a long way now. I like live here and I've like done a bunch of, it's just super, super cool. I'm proud. Whether I get her or not, or even not even get it, whether I get a call back or not, doesn't matter. Cause she has great energy and I like being around that energy. And that just goes to show if you want, this is what I don't get about auditions. Some people 
people are good at acting and i'm not saying me specifically but some people might be good at acting but just not good at auditions because you go into an audition room and it's the most uncomfortable environment to make you do well so when you have people that are nice and make you feel welcome you'll do your people will do better and don't you want people to do their best i just never understood looks like i have no neck i'm very excited and hyper because i'm proud of myself that's the moral of the story if i spoke too fast rewind play it again half speed if you can do that on youtube not really sure now i'm gonna get my license plates on my car i should probably do that lego also there's gonna be so much traffic but it's okay because positivity will prevail God damn, today's just a walk down memory lane because now I'm at the place where I bought my Tesla like a while ago. Just reliving all these memories right here. It's gonna take about 15 minutes. They put the plate in by drilling two holes into the car so you can't actually put the plates on yourself. Memory lane, I shed a single tear. Oh god damn, what they got here? They got free water? What they got, they got hot chocolate? What's up? Cheap for life. Fun fact, when I picked up my Tesla when I bought it a while ago, I didn't realize that the buttons to my shirt were undone. And so when I was talking to the guy, my whole shirt was pretty much undone and he could see my bra the whole time. Obviously he didn't say nothing, but I'm just saying, he got a little extra something, something besides the price of the car, you know what I'm saying, what else? That stupid moment when I tried to be responsible, get my plates and I don't have the stickers. I don't know who has the stickers, the stickers for the plate, god damn it. I had to come back, it's all good. I'm getting better and better at eating leftovers. Kill the game! I'm so tired. My hand is broken. And this is the last page in one box. So I understand the deadline is tomorrow, but guess what? Not meeting it. <laughs> last one. Still pretty. Oh, my hand is broken. I'm not going to complain anymore, though. Because it's for you, babies, and I love you, but I'm going to complain a little bit. Just because I'm tired. I'm tired. If you're wondering which truck ran me over, you're accurate. It's called life. We're so tired. I'm so tired. Well, you ate crackers all day, so that's why you're tired. Oh, I'm, we're having cereal. I'm so damn tired. Also, look at your portion versus mine. Yeah, but you're an Oompa Loompa, <laughs> so that, that explains that. Maybe we're just a high of permanent marker fumes. That could be it, too. Use the purple one. The purple one is so strong. For some reason, when I do the purple signing, it's like, blue, red, purple. I'm like, <laughs> Billy Sing. Billy Sing. Do you ever think of me when you lie? Lie down in your bed. Your bed of lies. Not a bed of lies, it's a bed of pillows, and I'm so tired. I'm so damn tired today. I don't know that I'm so tired. What time is it right now? Hold up, time check. It is 11 15 p.m. Still pretty damn early, but I guess pretty late. I don't freaking know. I'm gonna wash my face, put a face mask on, do some work while I lie in bed. Although I need to stop doing that, because I used to have a rule for myself that was office was work, room was not for work. I'm going to do a little bit of work in bed, and then I'm gonna go to sleep. Try, try to sleep a little bit early. I don't have to wake up too early tomorrow at all, so. I can catch up on sleep. Yay! Toilet talk with Lily and the nappy head. I don't care. I like it. I'm keeping my braid hair braided forever. Forever, ever, forever, ever, forever, ever. Thank you for joining me on today. I'm quite delusional now because I'm very tired. Tomorrow I am shooting a little something, something with Mamrie. Love me some Mamrie. And then I have a shoot for my channel afterwards. So I, my shoot with Mamrie is at one though, so I can just sleep in. You and Jane sleep in. But until then, yo, thanks for joining me on my day. I had a sick day. I auditioned, had two meetings, signed a box of things, sent a lot of emails, got stuck in a lot of traffic. We did a lot of things today. Very proud. Very proud. Pat on back. Oh, my body hurt. I'll see you tomorrow. Love you. <laughs> if you like it, subscribe. If you like it, subscribe. And don't like it, subscribe. Meow. Hi, my name is. Hi, my name is. Hi, my name is Chicka Chicka Slim Shit. I mean, Lily. Lily, right? Lily. Lily. L I L L Y. Three L's. There's three L's. I'm not the flower. I don't take that many showers. I don't smell that good. Lil E. When you comment below, please remember this.